I've had many moments in my life where I've done a complete overhaul on my wardrobe and really changed over my personal style. I'm coming out the back of one of those periods and so welcome to a new video series where I'm going to share my experience and show you how I've done it. This most recent change has happened over the course of about three years. This stuff takes time. What brought it on was a series of life-changing events that happened to my husband and I over the course of the pandemic. This takes a lot of effort and quite honestly, it's not something that can be magically fixed or found in a five point video on how to slow down or 10 steps to build a capsule wardrobe. It's really much more personal than that. And what I found by going through my own personal wardrobe therapy is that this stuff has been majorly therapeutic in so many other areas of my life. And that's how I know it's really important for me to share my story and how I've come to a new relationship with fashion and personal style. I started looking at my own closet, taking a deep dive into outfits that I've worn that have made me feel good or items or outfits that have made me feel not so good and a little bit distracted or not like myself. I've really been asking myself the questions surrounding this, why this has happened, why I feel a certain way and when I feel good I've been taking note of that and trying to figure out why so that I can replicate that as much as possible. So let's dive in. To illustrate this for you I've got two outfits that I've worn recently. This may seem like a little bit of overkill but stay with me as we go through these outfits. We'll round this up at the end as to why this is so important to me and why it could be so important for you if you do have the inkling that you are questioning your own wardrobe and personal style. So let's dive in to look number one. I'm going to start on a high note. This first look was really great. I felt amazing in it and so I broke down exactly why because like I said when you get it right it's important to note that so you can replicate that over and over again. This was a day where we were going out to celebrate my husband's birthday, a simple trip into the city, go for a quick lunch and mosey around, have a few drinks, do a bit of walking, just an easy casual day. Starting off with the outerwear, being the early days of spring at this time it wasn't super warm but the sun was shining so I wanted to get a little a bit of ease into the outfits, have a sense of the summer almost coming into play. So I chose a lightweight work jacket. This one is from Tibby. I'm a big fan. I really love the colour of it and I love the weight. It's enough coverage but it's not too warm. I decided to go for a men's shirt. If you've watched any of my content before or you follow me over on Instagram you'll know I love men's shirts. This is a classic white one. It's a little bit lightweight so it definitely has an air of spring about it. Something a little bit dressy that if I lose the casual jackets inside a restaurant or inside a bar I still feel very put together and quite chic. I paired this with a favorite pair of jeans of mine. These are a Goldie jeans. They're the split waist ones. I just decided to yank one side of the shirt through. It's maybe not something that anyone else would notice. Um, some might say it's a bit of a mistake in the outfit but I love that it's just a point of difference in the look. The most important thing for me in an outfit is footwear. Shoes, shoes, shoes. They are the beginning and end of whether I'm going to feel comfortable just for me personally. I went with a suede cowboy boot here. This was honestly the perfect choice for walking around the city. It is comfortable, it is practical, but you've got the little bit of a Cuban heel so you get the lift. It's a middle ground shoe. It's not too casual, it's not too dressed up. And the suede finish added in just the right amount of texture to the look. The suede texture was giving me that spring vibe that I was wanting to emulate with this. I had on a simple necklace that I just threw on as I went out the door. I just picked this up at a charity shop the weekend before and I really wanted to wear it. Cost me two pounds but just added a nice little detail that I feel rounded off the look perfectly. Rounding up what I learned from this outfit and feeling so good in it, wearing a shirt is definitely a go-to if I am going on a day out. I'm comfortable for walking, if I get too hot I can take off the jacket but the shirt still makes me feel put together. Love wearing a pair of jeans with a little bit of detail in it, especially if the shirt I'm wearing is relatively plain. I can really amp it up with wearing something that's detailed in the bottom half of the outfit as well. Love the cowboy boot. If ever I'm concerned about what to wear for a day out in the city this is going to be my go-to. It gives me a bit of heel height so if I am in a bar at the end of the day and everyone else is wearing heels or something like that I'm not going to feel too casual. It's the perfect perfect middle ground shoe. Well this outfit for me was a point or feeling of perfection. 
apparently it can be found. It's also cool to take great outfits and then try and change them up so we can wear the same things more often and get more comfortable wearing outfits more than once. So if this was more of a summer occasion, I likely would have loved to pair this with an open toe sandal. I love being very covered up on top and then having an open toe. So I would pair this pair of sandals. They're vintage from a charity shop, six pounds 50 people. I would pair these with the denim and the white shirt and with or without the jacket would feel really, really fabulous. Taking note of this one and banking it for when the occasion comes. I'm gonna flip this now and show you an outfit where I felt not so comfortable. This was going to a friend's boat for lunch. I wore this shirt that I'm wearing right here. It's one of my own that I've reworked and redesigned. I'll pop a link in the description box below to my website so you can see all the stuff that I rework and sell. It's my little side hustle and I love it. I started off with a practical shoe. I went with this pair of Superga, I think they're called Alpina or Alpine. I went with these because they've got a very secure closed rubber base and so I love wearing them if I'm not sure if there's going to be mud or not and the fact that they're white still made me feel a bit fresh and spring-like. I then decided to go with a pair of pajama style bottoms. These are from Ganny and they're striped but there's a little bit of a luxness to the fabric, a little bit of a sheen so I like wearing these for casual occasions or anything where I need to be comfortable but I still want to feel a little bit elevated. Over the top I went with my go-to blazer which is another item from Tibby, the Liam blazer. This is really an unstructured blazer, it's really comfortable, really oversized and roomy so I love it because it goes casual or dressy and is pretty much the perfect blazer for any occasion, you just can't go wrong. I also accessorized with some beaded necklaces that I'd handmade myself and that was pretty much it. Now, to most people looking in on this, they'd go, oh, it's a fine outfit. But for me, I felt like it was too much. I tried to do too many things. I wanted to wear the shirt with all the details. I wanted to wear the deconstructed blazer. I wanted to wear the stripy trouser. And I thought this would come across well in a full on moment, but then still be relaxed because the pieces themselves were relaxed. But in properly doing the work and analyzing this, I figured out why I felt so off throughout the day. The blazer is dressy, but also casual. The shirt is put together dressy, but also casual. And the trousers the same. It's a casual cut with an elasticated waist, but the fabric is dressy. So they were all the same, this middle ground. There was no tension in the look. And I could have done better, so I'm gonna show you how. I had too many elements going on, so I'm taking some things out. If I chose to keep the stripy trousers, I needed to pair it back to a simple, fresh t-shirt. Wearing an oversized t-shirt untucked just loosely over the trousers was the perfect pairing. As soon as I put this on, I just felt, mm, this is good. Because I was wearing white or cream on top, I decided that the creamy colored shoe was not gonna be a good option. So I switched that out for a black pair of Converse and this was on the money. Flipping that around and because I'm so attached to my reworked shirts, if I really wanted to wear this shirt, I should have just gone with a basic pair of denim. Well, not super basic. These have a little crossover and they're very slouchy. So super appropriate for the occasion, a casual day out, and really allow a sense of relief so that the shirt becomes the hero. There's not too many elements at play here. They've still got their detail in them. They still carry their own weight and add to the look, but there's not too much happening. And then with the denim, I felt I could keep the same shoe as before. The blazer over both looks looked really amazing. And as always, hindsight side is a beautiful thing. Going forward, if I find myself, which I often find myself, going to lunch on a friend's boat or walking down a towpath to a pub, this is the perfect little formula for me and I can't wait to wear these corrected outfits now when I get the opportunity. I get that some of this stuff may seem a little bit silly or trivial. For me, it's something that has to do with my mood, my feelings, my emotion, how I really show up in life. For myself in front of friends family co-workers and how i navigate through my day when i get my outfits right i am my most confident it becomes something that is in the background and allows me to be who i am get through the day make great decisions because i'm not worried about how i look as much as i enjoy fashion it is my hobby my career it's my job it's my side hustle it's all related of late over this period of about three years being a bit 
big transition, moving onto a boat, living in a tiny home, a complete overhaul and change in lifestyle. This has really led me to question my relationship with fashion, question why it's so distracting to me, why I feel the need to really nail my personal style, maybe make some changes and really get it right. That then is going to allow me to create space and time for the bigger things, to build my side hustle, to perform extremely well at work, to show up for my husband on date night and really be present and not distracted by feeling less than. For some people, clothing may not matter in that way, but I think if it does for you, then it is totally worth unpacking all of this and really understanding how it can be such a tool in our lives. Do join me next time. I've been formulating this little series for a while. That's why there was a break in me posting. I really wanted to do something meaningful for you and meaningful for myself as much as I want to provide inspiration. I also want to mark the point that I'm at and just reaffirm all the things that I've learned and allow me to stay the course with the whole process in slowing down and really living with my wardrobe and cementing my own personal style. This series is going to be quite a few videos. It's going to be quite long. It's a deep dive. The only way I think you can tackle these things. So do subscribe and come along with me for the ride. Meet me in the comments if you have any questions or you just want to share your own personal thoughts. I will see you next week for the second installment.